In this video, I am going to show you how to add and use checkboxes in Google Sheets. First, what I'm going to do is show you how to insert a checkbox into your spreadsheet. And then I'm going to go over some useful ways that you can use checkboxes. Um, some things I'm going to show you is creating a to-do list with a checkbox, using a checkbox with conditional formatting to highlight an entire row, and then I'll also, also show you filtering a report with the checkbox. So first, let's go over the basics of using checkboxes. So if you want to add a checkbox to Google Sheets, there's a couple ways you can do it. The easiest method is just going to be through the insert option. So what you do is you highlight the cells where you want to add checkboxes, and then you come up to insert and then you will see the insert checkbox option. So that's the easiest method to add a checkbox to your spreadsheet. There is another method which allows you some greater control over the checkbox and that is using it, uh, using data validation to create a checkbox. So what you do is again you highlight the cells where you want the checkbox to appear then you go up to data, data validation and then in this criteria section, you change it to checkbox. Now the benefit of creating a checkbox through data validation is that you have some additional options that you can um, do with your checkboxes. For example, you can show warnings, uh, reject input. Um, you can also change the um, values that the checkbox will return when it's checked or unchecked. So by default, a checked checkbox is going to return a true value, and an unchecked checkbox is going to return a false value. But you can customize this through data validation. So that is creating a checkbox through data validation. Now let's go over some other basic info that you might want to know when using checkboxes. So the power of using checkboxes comes from the fact that they return a value. So the unchecked box you can see up here has a false value. The checked box returns a true value. So once you know this, that this is false and this is true, you can start combining check boxes with formulas to do some, um, some pretty neat things. So what I'm going to show you next is using this check box to create a to-do list. So here I have a basic to-do list and I have inserted basic a basic checkbox here. Now what I'm going to do is apply conditional formatting that will change the color and strike through on this text when this box is checked. So what I'm going to do is highlight this entire data range here and then I'm going to come up to format and we're going to go conditional formatting. And so what I want to do is format cells if custom formula is and then I'm going to go equals I'm going to place this cell reference dollar sign here and we're going to go a2 and so what this is going to do is this means that if this is checked then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the row green and we're going to strike through the text so I'm going to select this strike through option and then I'm going to select done and so I have my conditional formatting rule set up and now when I check this box you can see the row is highlighted green and there's the strike through with the text so that's just one example of a creative way that you can use checkboxes to have some kind of interactive um, element to your spreadsheet um, the next way I'm going to show is something similar we're going to do conditional formatting but this time we're just going to highlight the entire row. So I have this data here. I have this basic report with the sales data. And I have a column where I have added checkboxes to it. So then what I'm going to do again is add conditional formatting. So I'm going to go format, conditional formatting for the formatting rules. We're going to set the criteria to custom formula is. And the formula is going to be equals dollar sign and then my first checkbox is in F2. So this time I just want to highlight the entire row yellow to make it easier to read. If this box is checked, then I'm going to select done. 
and this is my conditional formatting formula. And now when I check this box, if I want to highlight certain rows so that I can look at them um, easier, that is one thing we can do with checkboxes. The next thing I'm going to show is filtering a report by using a combination of checkboxes with the if and filter function. So what I have here is I have this report. This is my base report. And then I have this formula in here that is pulling out the data from this report. And I basically have it set up to reference the values of the checkbox. So let me show you first what it does when I check this box and then I'll show you later how this is set up. So if I only want to view the sales for the t-shirt item, I can select t-shirt and you can see the second report filters the entire report by this item. Now if I only want to view the item jeans, I can select jeans and you can see this whole report just filtered by the jeans option and then by hat or we can do socks. So I've used checkboxes in combination with a couple other formulas, if and filter, to be able to set this up. So this is a little advanced, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on the specifics of how this is set up. If you want the exact formula that I use for this, you can click on the link to my website, which I'm going to place in the description of this video. But I will go over the basics of how this was set up. So. All this is, is it's an if function. So I'll go over this. So if n2, so basically if n2, so if this is true, if this box is checked, that's what the first part of the formula is, then we're going to filter my original data range and we're going to filter it by this column and we're going to our filter criteria is M2. M2 is t-shirt. So basically, if, if my box is checked, filter this entire report by t-shirt. That's all this formula says. If it's not checked, we run to the next if function, which is the same exact formula, but now it's set up for this second checkbox. And then the same formula for the third checkbox, the same formula for the fourth checkbox. If none of those boxes are checked, there's this last filter function, which is basically just set to return the entire report. So that's how this is set up. Again, this is a little more advanced, but it's really not that hard if you understand how to use the if and filter functions. But I just wanted to show you this because it's another example of a creative way that you can use checkboxes in your reports to create a dynamic report that is easily filterable by just checking this box. So hopefully you've learned at least something from this video. I wanted to show this because checkboxes are not something that many people are using, but as you can see, they're very useful, especially if you want to create interactive elements in your spreadsheets. So that's pretty much it for this one. As always, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.